G'day guys, and today I'm going to do my tips for round 18 of the season. We are very close to finals, which is quite unbelievable, I must say. It's heating up at the top end of the ladder as well. We've got uh, Langs on top of the table yet again, and Studi V, uh, not VT, uh, YT, YouTube, could be, uh, is on 98 as well. Going to be... Uh, yeah, on for young and old there. So Langs has got him just by the margin at the moment. But, yeah, hanging on. Uh, several weeks to go. And I'm on the comeback. I think I've gone from 19th to 18th. So here we go. Here we go. The, the big moment. Uh, so, yeah, tiny bit of movement. And a bunch of upsets. I hate it when a bunch of upsets happen because that's what I want to do most weeks. And then I, I go, oh, that'll happen again. And then it never happens. Um, yeah, and then and I get really disappointed with, with how that all pans out. All right. Okay. Massive week of footy, and we'll start off with the Friday night game, Collingwood and Mel, uh, not Melbourne, and Geelong at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. I'm getting my words mixed up there. Uh, Pies obviously been out of touch of late, a close loss to the Suns, and... Also got relatively close to the Bombers, but the Bombers had their measure for most of the night. Geelong back into some good form with a couple of wins on the trot. Uh, this will mean, I guess this will definitely uh, help tell where the Cats are actually at. Uh, I haven't beaten too many top eight sides, but again, I don't know when that actually counts. Because um, there's sides that are in the eight now that weren't when we did beat them. But anyway, uh, we'll throw that out the door. I'll go the Cats... Uh, what, what? I'll go the Cats by seven points. I think it'll be, yeah, very close. And no doubt Colin will be breathing fire. I just think, yeah, with the amount of injuries they've got, mine check out for the season. Uh, I think Darcy Cameron's out. Doesn't mean that it's not impossible, but I feel like they've had to really stretch their list with uh, the amount of injuries that they've had. And, yeah, it just feels like a bit of a bridge too far. I am hope I'm right. And, yeah, I just think, yeah, the Cats just starting to gel again and hopefully we can get the win. But, you know, that doesn't guarantee anything just because the team's won a couple and the team's lost a couple. doesn't guarantee anything. And Geelong, still a lot of work to do. Over to Sydney Cricket Ground where the Swans are hosting North Melbourne and up in North, uh, picked up some form of late. They had a nice win over the Suns at Marvel. And then Sydney, they've lost two in a row, which uh, has been unexpected. But they haven't lost by a lot this year. I think it's eight points they've lost by in, in three games. So not too many concerns. But, yeah, you, you wouldn't want to you know, keep up those types of performances. But I think at home they'll be way too strong. North will give them a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, a little bit of a run for their money throughout parts of the game. But I reckon, yeah, Sydney will be way too strong. Over to Utah's Stadium, Hawthorne hosting Fremantle. Hawthorne uh, went down to the Cats at the category by 51 points and the Dockers had a big win. Who were they playing? I'll have to check. I think it was the Tigers. Yes, it was the Tigers. Uh, yeah, really flip the coin game here, relatively 50-50. But, yeah, I like what Fremantle are doing. They've won three on the trot since the Dogs game. They've been, you know, uh, in really good form. Hawthorne, they were in scintillating form, uh, ran into a red-hot cat side at, at the Cattery. Um, tough task there, but uh, yeah, look, the Dockers won't like the conditions, and I think they'll have to catch a few planes and stuff to figure that out, but I reckon they'll be a little bit too strong. Over in Marvel Stadium, we've got the Doggies, and they are hosting Carlton in this game. They've had some uh, lackluster affairs in the past, and in Cripper's 200th, Cardinal flying, dogs had a bit of a reality check against Port Adelaide, and I think, yeah, the Blues are, uh, whilst they went down to the Giants, uh, it's a pretty tough away trip, and, yeah, they, they almost gave themselves a chance to win, or well, especially early, they gave themselves a chance to win, but during that second, third term, they, they uh, gave up uh, way too much leg rope for the Giants. All righty, over to Adelaide Oval. We have Adelaide hosting St Kilda. For this one is yeah definitely a tough one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lean towards the Saints. They've they won me over 
off the back of uh, the win over Sydney. Uh, so Adelaide, they went down to the lines, close game. Um, and then, yeah, the Saints defeated the Sydney Swans by two points in the end. I'm going to go the Saints. Isaac Rankin out is massive. And I think, this, yeah, the Saints probably don't travel <laughs> to Adelaide well, too well, as we saw last year. I wouldn't say they're in the form they were in last year. Saints are getting back to some good form. Look a bit more unpredictable without Max King. Uh, Crows, still a fair bit of work to do. But yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an upset, this one. Then we have Melbourne and Essendon at the MCG. Saturday night game should be a ripper. Uh, Melbourne will be without Max Gorn. Obviously, Petrarca's out for the season. Uh, I think that'll definitely sway me enough to go to the Bombers irrespective of that but that gives me additional confidence to lean towards the Bombers who had a good win over the Pies and the D's comfortable winners over the West Coast Eagles we then go to the Gold Coast and the Suns are hosting Port Adelaide who had a big win last week over they had the, the doggies the dogs and Gold Coast, they went down to North Melbourne by a couple of points. They've been unbelievable at home. I don't know if Port Adelaide have really... Yeah, I don't think they've lost to the Suns many times at all, and that looks like they won at home. Yeah, if I look at their previous history, they may have only lost once or twice to Gold Coast ever. I'll go Gold Coast. Uh, they can't lose at home. They can't win away. They, yeah, they, they figure it out. Uh, they're not able to win on the road, but they just find a way to win at home. I think I got it right either way. It's getting a bit late. Uh, then we have the Tigers at the MCG. They are going to host the GWS Giants, who don't play at the MCG too often, and maybe the last time might have been the final against the Saints. So I could be wrong. Tigers, they went down to the Dockers over in the West, GWS, a uh, really good win over the Blues, which I, I didn't mention earlier. Or, yeah, I don't think I got to mention too much detail. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm happy to go with the Giants here. Tigers will have a crack at it. But uh, yeah, Giants getting back into a little bit of form. I think they're the better side than Richmond. We'll, we'll be able to find a way. Over to Optus Stadium for the last game of the round and... Possibly Adam Simpson's last game if he chooses to coach. They've given him the offer. That's obviously yeah, some big news on the Eagles front, who yeah went down to Melbourne at the MCG relatively comfortably. Uh, didn't completely give up, but it was a sort of ugly kind of uh, affair. And Brisbane, they found a way to get the four points over the Adelaide Crows at home. I think, yeah, Irrespective of Simo coaching or not coaching, Brisbane, yeah, far too accomplished. Should be able to get the job done relatively comfortably as other sides have done so. All right, let's have a crack at this. So I've gone the Cats by seven points. I have gone with Sydney, Fremantle, Carlton, St Kilda, Essendon, Gold Coast, GWS, and then the Brisbane Lions to round out round 18. All right, guys, those are my picks for the week for round 18. Feel free to comment who you think is going to win over the weekend and get amongst the tipping competition if you want to get involved. We'd love you to get amongst the action. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you all. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.